If you want to revoke the freeze authority of your token, this video is for you. I'm going to show you how to revoke the freeze authority of your token without coding in just two minutes. Revoke freeze authority of your token is really important because we will need to do it in order to create our liquidity pool. Also, it's important to revoke the mint authority because of this. As you can see, people usually use sites like this, ragcheck.xyz, to check how risky is a token. If we don't revoke these authorities, our token will look more danger for people. For revoking the freeze authority, we are going to use this tool you are seeing here, tools.smithy.io, on the Solana token creator tool. Here you have a tutorial on how to create your own token without coding, and also they provide another tool to revoke the freeze authority, so we are able to create our own liquidity pool. So in this case, I'm going to do it for this token you are seeing here, so I go to this link, you will have the link on the description, okay? We scroll down a bit and we go to are you going to create a liquidity pool and here they say that we need to revoke the freeze authority in order to create our token. The cost is only 0.1 Solana and it will be ready in just one minute. Hey, sorry for starving, this is just a reminder to smash the like and subscribe button and that the smithy is the all-in-one management software for an NFT project. If you are creating an NFT project or managing one, you should try it for free on smithy.io. We will provide you analytics and management tools that will help you improve your project performance while slashing. So for doing the process, we will need to select our wallet, connect our wallet. In this case, I'm going to use Phantom. So as you can see here, we have a drop down where we can select the token we wanna revoke the freeze authority from. Take on account that we only can revoke the freeze authority from tokens we have the authority. It means tokens that we have created. So here we have the token we are going to do. As you can see, this is my wallet and this is the mint authority, so I can do it. Also, I have the freeze authority. So I'm going to copy the beginning of the address and I'm going to look for it. And this one is the token, okay? So I can select it and I only need to click on revoke freeze authority. It will open a transaction. Here we can see 0.1 Solana. We can confirm and now success. Your freeze authority has been removed successfully. Now, if we update, we shouldn't have the freeze authority here. Let's see. And we also, if we update, here we have freeze authority still enabling. If we refresh, we can see here that we don't have the freeze authority now. Okay, we still have the mint authority. And here we don't have the freeze authority as risk. If you want to revoke the mint authority, it means that you won't be able to mint more supply of your token. You can do it here too. You only need to select the token and revoke mint authority. Okay, and it will be revoked from here and from here. I will be making a tutorial on how to get or token as a uh, non-risk here in rookcheck.xyz. So if you wanna stay tuned, subscribe and turn the notice on. So now we have our token ready for creating a liquidity pool. As we have revoked the freeze authority, now we are able to create it. If you wanna learn how to do it, here you have a tutorial doing the whole process on creating a liquidity pool, okay? And that's all for this video. Thank you so much for watching and see you in the next one. Bye-bye.